Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Tiffany from Tiffy Butter. Today I want to do a setup video for my Fellow Facts personal size in Petter Newt. Um, my last video was like three months ago already because I was um, still organizing of my planners for 2017. Now they're all set up, so I want to start it with my Fellow Facts collection. And today I will be talking about my personal size in Petter Newt. So in 2016, I was using this planner for my work, for my Etsy shop, um, and for all of my ideas and thoughts and anything about business. So this year, um, I did a little bit of rearrangement. I am using this for my personal life in 2017 because I realized I have I just have so many random thoughts. I need a bigger spaces to jut all of my notes down on one page. So my A5 my A5 size file facts could do that. Um, so that's why I switched them around. Now I'm using this for my daily life on a daily basis. <laughs> so let's dive in. When you open it up, um, under this big pocket, I'm sorry if I um so too much because my English is not perfect, so, so please forgive me and, or excuse me. So under this big pocket, I have some sticky notes from Iconic Sticky It, Iconic Company. I believe this brand is from Korea. Um, Something special about the sticker, a sticky note is it, they are chasing paper. So that's why um, I purchased them at the very first place. But honestly, they are not very sticky. I guess that's some typical problems for most of the sticky notes, um, pretty sticky notes especially. So they're all chasing paper, but you can see through the paper. So I really like it. I really like the... Um, the pastel color, I really like the simple pattern. So yeah, why not? I just keep them in here. And here just a random notes for my job. Anyway, I don't have anything under this pocket. I keep a small uh, lock sticky note from Coco Daisy Kit. And then in this elastic, I have some fly leaf, page fly and as well as the the notes paper that I've never used but I keep them in here in case someday someday maybe I need to use them and currently I am using the pilot fiction pen in point point five um, is the one that you can remove or erase <clears throat> so this is my dashboard I make it by myself I have some similar style dashboard on my Etsy shop so I will link my shop down below if you are interested in this style or vintage romantic cute style please take a look <laughs> I'll be very appreciated so basically you can choose your front paper and your back paper you can order you can make custom order I do a sub custom order you can make a pocket at the back or there's nothing at the back you can choose your own um, cute stickers as well so anyway that's my dashboard and then I have a picture of my cat and then I have this top loading pocket that came with the planner nothing has been changed in here I still have the vintage paper the, pa uh, the photo of my fiance and I some cars some bookmarks project life card for decoration or for a uh, side note <clears throat> and then I have this paragraph that I really like I type it down from I use my typewriter to type it down <laughs> I guess that's some that's correct okay um the background is a paper from a pen pal I clip them together with the moon, moon clip at the back, I just write down some coupon code from some Etsy shop. And then I have a portrait life card in here. It says always, always look on the bright side. At the back, it's just a picture of my fiance and I. So um, this is my main 
planner section, I have four tabs. That means four section. The first two tabs, I've made them by myself, and then the last two tabs are from Minted Sugar. So the first divider, oh yeah, divider. The first divider, I just like to um, collage a lot of vintage and lovely theme together. That's why I chose the uh, rose. I chose the vintage photo with two women smiling and with this portrait life car at the background and this cute little cat. At the corner, I just love to collage them together and play around with it. And then at the back, I just have some uh, sticky notes. So the first section is my notes section. Here is a bookmark. So from this page, start from this page is all my messy notes. So I will organize my notes section like once a week or once two weeks. So after I have, <laughs> I have enough messy notes, I will organize them all on one paper, on one page, and then move the paper um, at the front. So there will be, they they look like this. This is the first page is my inspiration page. So I just organize anything that inspire me on a daily basis. I will just write it down in here. No matter it's for my shop, it's for my goals, it's for my planner, it's for my for my video, it's for my myself or family. I will just write it down in here. And then I have a coupon page. So but, uh, this page actually is this, this paper. This note paper actually is from um, Coco Daisy A5 Planner Kit. Um, I just it's their daily inserts, but I just never ever use their daily inserts, and I feel it's such a waste. Um, their paper quality is good, and their patterns, their their um, uh, watercolor, uh, the, the theme is so vintage, so beautiful. I don't want to waste the paper. So that's why I just cut them in size and hole punch it. And now I'm using them as my note paper. So yeah, um, that's that. I always keep my note section at the front because I'm such a weirdo. I have so many thoughts. I have so many ideas on a daily basis. But I will just like forget them in a minute. I just can't keep them organized in my brain. So I have to jot them down on paper. I need to write them down and then I will never forget them. So that's why I always have my note section at the front. So that's that. This is my second divider. Um, at the back, I just have this wish list. So because my fiance and I are going to have our, our wedding party in 2017 in May, so now we are kind of in budget, um, so that's why I have I have a wish list in here. So these are the things I really like. I really really want to buy them, but I just don't have the money yet because I saved up our money for our wedding, and the, most of those things are pretty expensive. Um, so that's why I have this wish list in here. Once I saved up enough money, I will just buy them one by one <laughs> um, in case I forget them all. So that's why I have this wish list at the back of this divider uh, for 2017. So this this part, this section is my main section. Am I in the frame? Okay. This section is my main section. Um, all of my, basically all of my inserts are from So Much Crafting. I don't want to say So Much Crafting like a thousand times in my video. So yes, they are from So Much Crafting. If they are not, I will just point them out. First of all, I have this one year at one on one page calendar. At the back is blank. So the number here are kind of tiny, kind of small, too small for me to jot down more detailed notes. So in here, I just jot down, uh, I just circle out those important dates um, and things like that. So at the back, I was going to jot down more detailed about the important dates, but ended up I just circle all the birthdays. Um, for example, January 26th is my mother's birthday. 
So I was going to like to do something like January 26th, mother's birthday. And then I realized I can remember them all because they are, they are my family birthday, they are my best friend's birthday. So I would never ever forget them. Um, that's why I would just leave it blank. And then I have this year on two pages, the both sided for 2017. So here um, I have more spaces to jot down detail note. So that's why I chose this one to do future planning. For example, holiday and in May 7 is our wedding day. So I can just basically um, highlight the date and then um, write down some details about those days, like what will happen or something like that. And then I have this yearly pull-out calendar. So for 2016, um, let me just grab my calendar. For 2016, I have this one. I print by myself, it's a freebie. I will link the blog down below. Um, so in here, I just shut down the dates I need to pay my rent. Basically, it's, the, it's every first day of every month, <laughs> I need to pay um, my rent. Um, and then I just jot down some personal days, like period, and then I just have, I, just done a, I check down a number of the tips that I receive every week because I need to pay the tax eventually at the end of the year. So I need to um, just jot them down in here. And then I know how much tips I need to pay, uh, how much tips, uh, how much tax I need to pay at the end of the year. Phew, I can't talk. Uh, anyway, so I will basically do the same thing in this uh, yearly pull-out calendar for 2017. And at the back, not at the back, I use a olive clip, kind of clip um, those two paper back to back. And here I just have some receipt, receipt for grocery receipt for um, references. So here is my month on two pages. I will show you the what the blank one looks like. So for example, this is February. So the blank one looks like this, start from Monday and end it on Sunday. I think you can choose start from Sunday and end it on Saturday. They have two versions that you can choose. Just So you can choose your preferences. So on this month on two pages, basically I just shut down um, things I need to do on that day basically because again I don't have too many spaces to jot down important notes. I will do all of my planning on my week on two pages but on this month on two pages basically I just um, write down what I need to do on that day or just write down um, how much I ex uh, I expand. For example, uh, we went to buy grocery on Saturday uh, December 10th and it costs us 75 75 cents so I just shut down a number in here sometimes I like for example we need to go I go through again in uh, on this day and then I need to make a list like grocery list something um, like eBay auction and insta sell movie day like just some random notes for my daily or for my daily life and then at the black is blank. And here is basically where I do all of my uh, planning, in-depth planning. I don't do any fancy method like color code or bullet journal. I don't do that anymore. I still use the bullet like a dot, but I don't do bullet journal anymore. Um, because I just realized I don't have a busy, like very busy life. Um, I don't have children and my work is pretty stable and my fiance's work is pretty stable and we just go to buy grocery every um, every week or every two weeks so I don't have like huge amount of, of information that I need to jot down or uh, do the future planning so that's why I just keep it as simple as I can basically I just jot down the things I need to do or jot down the things that will happen on that day. For example, there's one like, like deposit to my personal account. So if I saw the amount appears on my personal account, I will just check it. That means yes, it's deposit. Um, and then for extra notes, I will just use my sticky notes. 
So this is my current wig. Actually, it's not my current wig, but it's my last wig. I have a today bookmark that I make by myself. Uh, for more, again, for more information or to-do list, I will just jot down on a sticky note and then put it on top of my bookmark. And I got this um, daily task form from So Much Crafting. <clears throat> so basically, I just jot on the things I want to do every week, and then I keep track of that. So at the end of the week, um, I know that what I did um, was my progress for from last week and what I need to do more for the next week. So that's last week. Um, not too many things to do, but yeah. And then I keep the rest of the month and that's the end of the insert so move to my future planning system this is my future planning system also this insert is from planner and Prorium. I will link the shop down below as well so this one is my future planning first of all I will have this January important date on one page basically I will throw all of my inserts at the end of the year of course basically I will just keep um, the yearly on one page yearly on two pages yearly poor calendar and then it will jump right onto my January important days on one page so they have the important days birthday things to do this month this month goals so at the back at the back is is some grid paper um, so in here, I just want to keep track of my progress. For example, um, like I need to walk, my month goals is I need to walk <laughs> um, 10 times this month. So at the back, I would just have two, uh, 10 circles. If I walk once and I will just like check it, I walk twice, I will just check twice. So I just at the back I need to do some progress checker so I know um, uh, what I need to do what I need to do more or what I can do less and then I have my month on two pages so basically so much so much crafting Daniel she over two version the first version is she printed back to back and the second version is she printed on just one page so I chose the second version which is on uh, which is um, the insert only printed on one page so if you chose this the both sided one um, for example here is January at the back you will have December and then at the back here you will have your February uh, which I didn't use that one because I want to have more spaces to do my checker for example, on this one, I have my package checker. So I have a list of the things I, that I order and then I'll just keep track of my order. And then at the back of the January, uh, at the back of the month on two pages, I have um, one blank page and at the front of the week on two pages, I have another blank page. So basically I can do my to-do list in here, my shopping list, my appointment and contacts. So you can arrange those empty page to do uh, whatever you feel like to. For um, If you want to keep track of your hobby, you can have your hobby checker. If you want to keep track of your reading list, you can have your reading list. So it just, I feel like it's more flexible and it's more uh, convenient I don't need to purchase extra checker paper or anything like that. I, I can just keep track of it, keep track of all my list um, on these empty pages. That's why I purchased the second version. And this is my week on two pages uh, vertical. Um, it's pretty simple and normal. And then that goes to my first page of February. So same thing. Um, I have the month on two pages and then I will just have my checker in here and then goes to my week on two page, page uh, week on two pages. So basically I keep um, all of my inserts until March and then I have a transparent divider and that is all the rest of my daily tasks 
and the rest of my important dates until the end of 2017, which is December. So yeah, um, that's that. That's my uh, most important section, my planning section. And I will try this new planning system for 2017. And I can see myself could do a lot more with that. Um, this one is my third uh, debinder. And here is just some random list and notes. I have my favorite Etsy shop list, do job list, and some pen test, and note from Creative Market, and a bookmark. Oh, it's just so cute. Look at this. I have to pull it out. Look at this. Look at this little piggy. Oh, I just love it so much, and he is smiling. <laughs> it's so cute. And then some gift idea for my fiance. And here is a pocket that I make by myself. I just keep some Michael coupon in here. So next time I visit Michael, I can use some of those coupon. And this is my last binder. And I have a dashboard in here from Judy Pie College. So here is my, basically it's my pen pals information. So I shouldn't be showing you. And then I have the uh, books to read section. I need to read more books. I really have to, but I just had a busy year and I work graveyard. I just don't have the energy to do anything in the morning. So yeah, that's pretty bad. So I need to uh, catch up of my reading. And then I have this transparent divider. So they are the shops that I really like in local Vancouver. That's why I just shut down the name and their open times and, and the address. So that's that. That's how I set up my personal size follow facts in Pen and Newt. I hope you like this video and can't wait to share more with you in my next video soon. Bye bye.